this clock is in 24 hour time. The second hand goes around their 60 second rods, as you can see on the far outer rim. 60 minute hand rods, rather. And the inner rim, and then on the far most inner rim, you can see 24 um, larger cylinders, um, each corresponding to one hour of the day, as you can see right now. So it's, the clock thinks it's approximately 10, mm, looks like 40 ish. And then the seconds go around. Or rather, I should say 50 ish. But yeah, so the green light is the hours, the blues are the minutes and seconds, and that red light at the bottom is just the Arduino on. You can cover that with a piece of black tape or any color tape if you want. I chose to leave the wires in because I think it looks aesthetically pleasing. There are a couple glitches as you can see here, and um, that can be changed depending on when you put it down. It just means one of the wires is loose down in the Arduino. Um, you just saw the minute hand change, by the way. Every time the second goes across the top there, it changes. Um, the whole thing is made up of 144 cylinders and then several rods that aren't necessary but in there for fun and then um, a lot, a lot, a lot of wire, uh, over about 150 feet of wire, which is a lot for me. And the back side of this looks fairly impressive just because of the amount of wire wrapped around and took a lot to conceal it all. It's quite cool. Then I left the um, wires connecting the hour hands um, visible because I thought it looked more aesthetically pleasing. And my camera doesn't do this justice because you can see the LEDs too clearly, actually. I wish I could diffuse them like the eye makes it appear because, I mean, it works well with the minutes and seconds, but for the hours, it doesn't do justice to the green where you can't actually see the LED. It more just looks like a very backlit ring, which is really cool. I'll kind of try and get it from an angle so you can kind of better see what I mean. And there you can kind of see the green. And yeah, just runs off of a um, 5 volt DC converter. Then you just plug it right into a wall or you could power it off batteries if you want. It doesn't draw much current at all. So, pretty cool. You could have this wireless for about 9 years if you want. It runs off the DS real time power, or re the real time circuit, and that just plugs right into an Arduino Mega that I have at the bottom. And works flawlessly, actually. Very minimal code. You can give it to anyone if they want help. Just send me an email.